Hey, hey family, welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing today? For those of you who are new here, welcome to our family. Today we are going to be talking about some things, okay? There has been a lot of speculation going on about Melody um, and if she's friends with her enemies again. You know them people over there on the show, honey. So in this video, we're going to be talking about Melody and Stormy being friends again and also the other cast on the on this show, okay? Cammy, Tisha, Lion Ass, Nell, who pretends to be Melody's friend. Yep, I said it and I don't care who don't like it. And my opinion, Nell is not Melody's friend. But before I go on talking about that, because I'm going to talk a little bit more about that, we're going to be talking about these demons over there on the show, okay, that continue to be friends with her ex. Now, he has been quiet, but don't think for one second, child, we're not going to be seeing him on this up and coming season. Excuse me, y'all, because I believe we will see him. I think he's just being quiet because they probably told him shut the hell up before we have to cut you off. And you know that is the only revenue, okay, any money that he has coming in is this show. This is his last resort. Now, before I go on a tantrum about him, child, because y'all know I'm going to tantrum about him. I can't stand him. But nonetheless, let's talk about what we have been seeing lately, okay? What we know is we have been seeing some photos and some videos of Melody and those, you know, those ops over there on, on the show. You know, the ones that she brought on the show, that she helped to get the show. You know, those people, the, those ungrateful ones, the ones that turned against her, that was her frenemies, those people. Let's talk about them, okay? So I'm going to talk about some of the things that people have been talking about just to hit a couple of points. But before I do, before I get started, hold on. Let me remind you that... If you want to become a content creator, reach out to me because I have an ebook that you can purchase. And right now, I am doing a bundle deal for my ebook. The ebook is called Tips and Tricks to Become a Content Creator Quickly. Okay. So it has things in there that can get you up and running very fast. You can get the ebook, and the ebook by itself can help you get up and running, help you to start your channel and all of that. However, I have a special until the end of the month that if you come and purchase the ebook, you can get a one on one training with me as well. Normally, the ebook by itself is a little more pricier than you getting the ebook in this bundle deal, okay? So if you want to become a content creator, just reach out to me at DaySilverTalkShow at gmail.com. Again, it's DaySilverTalkShow at gmail.com. And just let me know that you're interested in the ebook, okay? And also, if you forget what I just said, either rewind this video or go to the description in any of my videos and you will see my email address there now let's get on okay so i got a couple of things that i want to talk about because i'm trying to get more organized so i can bring you all this information child sometimes my brain just working so fast that i am just moving too fast and talking about things um in reference to what i want to get my points I want to get across. So I'm going to do it one at a time. That way we can have a conversation without you actually being here with me. And uh, we will be live tomorrow, Friday night. But anyway, I will be having a conversation except for your part of the conversation is going to be in my comments after the video. So make sure you go to those comments down there and leave your thoughts and opinions. Okay. About what you think about what I'm saying here on this video. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is Melody falling for the okie doke again for giving those demons on the show yet again. Now people are speculating and it's more so the people that don't care for Melody, okay? Because we know the haters always have to do their job. It is their job to hate and spread lies and rumors because that's who they are. And you can see them clearly most of the time. Sometimes you got undercover haters who pretend like they're melameters <clears throat> or that they support Mel and they really don't. They'll get exposed sooner or later. And so, you know, they'll run around talking about, look, Melody is back friends with them. She's, you know, she's filming with them or they're on vacation. First, it was they on vacation together. Now, y'all know damn well Melody is not going on vacation with no daggone Stormy Tisha or none of them, okay, or or uh, Kimmy. Now, now, Nell, she might go on vacation with. Now, I'm hoping that she eventually sees Nell for who she is. But, child, that's a whole nother video in itself. So, 
People have been saying that because they want to know if it's a vacation or it's a business trip. Of course, it is a, a business trip. This ain't no vacation. Have we ever seen Mel go on vacation with these fools? No. So why would she do it now after everything that has been exposed? This is most definitely a business trip. And in one of the videos I saw, I think T-Talk talked about it. And it was a young lady, I can't think of her name, who put a video up. T-Talk said, and she showed Nell and Kimmy in the back scene of um, Mel's friend Sharnita, right? And so, um, Challenge, y'all be correcting me on these names, Shawnita, Shanita. Y'all know who I'm talking about, okay? So stop trying to correct me because I'm not saying the names wrong on purpose, okay? All right, now let's move on. Anyway, uh, well, Kimmy and Nell were supposed to have been in the background. Now, I thought about this too. So because this came out, I decided to go to the ladies' pages, Tisha and Stormy. Child, I don't hardly ever visit their page because ain't nothing over there that I want to see. But I decided to go over there to see if they were posting anything. And yes, they were. They were posting a picture or a video or whatever. Stormy put a picture and a video up, right? And because I'm a YouTube and content creator and I cover this show, of course, I went to see for myself. But I looked on Kimmy's page and I noticed that Kimmy is not posting anything anymore, right, in reference to the show. Kimmy has kind of not been posting on, on reference to the show. Now, I wonder, um, Bone Collector Kimmy, are you not posting because your uh, husband then ran around and tried to to uh, sue content creators and you don't want nobody to be in your comments, you know, wearing that ass out, talking about your husband? Because we know that if this is something that he done, I shouldn't say we know. We're going to assume, okay, allegedly, maybe, okay. And yes, all of this is for entertainment purposes. It's all alleged. And this is in my opinion, okay. This just my thoughts and opinion. Nothing is factual. But in my thoughts and opinion, I just feel like, you know, you sat down with old small head, bald head, light skin, and you helped him come up with this little plan that you all thought was brilliant, that you were going to, you know, um, threaten the content creators and take them to court and all those things and take their money, child, all in our pockets up over here. So I'm just wondering, did you not post um, Bone Collector because you don't want people to be over there wearing that ass out in the comments? Because you know we will be coming, right? You do know that, right? But why aren't you posting? Messy King, why aren't you getting your cast to promote your show? Why, Messy King? Okay, because it seems like me, the person that's always promoting is Melody. You know, the person that you all have tried to take down. You know, that person, the one that came up with the show. You you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, uh-huh. So I was just wondering, y'all just had thoughts like, why isn't Kimmy posting and promoting the show? Y'all tell me in the comments, what are your thoughts? Why do you think that Kimmy is not promoting the show? Because we know they all need the money, honey. They all do. Because if you didn't need the money, your small head, bald head, light skin hubby probably wouldn't be over here trying to take from these content creators, okay? Take their hard-earned money. Now, child, I don't know if the rumors is right about your husband or not, nor do I care. But I think it is really wrong that you are all over here trying to, or that he is trying to take from the content creators. Nevertheless, moves, let's move on. Like I said, this is a business trip. I don't believe for one second that Mel will go on a vacation with those demons. Child, she wouldn't have no peace. She wouldn't be able to sleep. How could you lay your head down with a bunch of demons? And yes, she has gone on vacation on the show. Okay, on the show, that's the difference. She has gone on vacation because it was business with them. And I believe this is business again. So, no, to all the haters, go somewhere and find something else to hate about. Because she is not on no vacation, no personal vacation with them. Why would she do that? That's like going on a, a personal vacation trip with hotel. Why would she do that? That makes no sense. Okay. Um, and so, you know, people wanted to talk about that. So I figured I would come and I would talk about it and give my opinion. And y'all tell me in the comments below, do you think that this is a vacation is personal or do you think it's a business trip? I think by now, most of us know that it's a business trip, except for the dummies in the back. They want to keep acting like Mel is friends with these people when we know that she clearly is not friends with the people. Okay. 
Anyway, it's business, okay? People have to go and deal with people. It's business. Even with me running my own business, sometimes I have to deal with people that I don't want to deal with, okay? Just because I have to do business with those people. So, I mean, we all understand that. Haven't you had jobs where you go to that you can't stand people? How many of you all work somewhere and you can't stand the people that you work with? Go on, he put in the chat so the dummies in the back can stop acting like they don't know this, okay? Also, we noticed that Mel has her friends with her, okay? Lauren and Shanita is with her. Shanita, Shanita, y'all know who I'm talking about, okay? Anyway, she has her friends with her, and people are speculating, will her friends be filming with her? We don't know, but I sure hope so. I hope that her friends are filming with her because I'm sick of Mel being around these demons and not heavy. I'm not sick of her being around them. I'm just sick of the fact that she helped these people and all they seem to do is go behind her back and betray her and talk about her and pretend like they her friend or want to call her to do business with them only so that they can use her. So I do hope that her friends will be on the show. Now I know Melody has said in the past that her friends didn't want to be on this show child and I couldn't blame them. Because if I was one of her friends, I wouldn't want to be on the show either. But let me tell you how my friendship is set up. If I saw my friend going through what she has been going through, I just might change my mind. Because, honey, I will be ready to come on that show and let their ass have it. You hear me? I will be so sick of them people doing my friend the way they be doing my friend, even if I ain't want to be on the show. Now, I'm not saying this is what Mel's friends should do. I'm just saying the way that I'm set up, okay, it'll be a problem. And I will come on that show ready, okay, ready. I wouldn't have to get ready. I would be ready. I would have been ready, okay, seeing all this nonsense that's going on. So, personally, I hope that her friends are on the show. Now, we know that our girl can handle herself, but it sure would be nice to see people that are truly there for her, that are her, that are truly her friends, because I ain't never cared for Kimmy, Tisha, Stormy, or Kiki. And speaking of Kiki, Kiki, where you at? Where you at, Kiki? Kiki, do you love me? You said you love Mel, girl. You did not. We saw what you did. I had never cared for Kiki. And see, the people that you wanted to be close to, because you talking about that was your family, even after all the mess that happened, you still wanted to be close to them. And Tisha didn't want no dealings with you. But, you know, Melody had your back. And you still, still, still betrayed her like the rest of them, okay? Run around talking about her behind her back to other YouTubers doing all the things that you claim you did not do. But your ass on YouTube, on Instagram, talking about somebody was lying on you only to figure out, to find out that you was a liar. Yeah, I said it, liar. That's what you was. But I ain't never cared for her. Okay. So it did not surprise me at all. I know a lot of people were surprised, but I was not. And so it looks like Kiki, nobody saw Kiki. Where is Kiki? Somebody find Kiki. Can you find Kiki? Now, maybe Kiki is not on the show anymore because it was told that you was running around telling all the show information before the show actually aired now i don't believe kiki was the only person but what i do believe you know and we shall see okay we shall definitely see because none of this is factual this is just my opinion what i do believe is that kiki is no longer on the show now y'all tell me in the comments below what do you think do you think that kiki is going to still continue to be on the show and if she did who would she be filming with I guess Mel could still film with her because, you know, she does feel with, film with the rest of the liars, deceivers, and haters. So I guess she could film with her too, you know, but I don't know. How would that work out? You all tell me. And let's talk about Stormy, okay? Stormy was doing a video. And in Stormy's video, you can hear Mel's voice. Now, I don't have it on my video because I took the sound off of everything. But if you go watch other people's video, I think T had T Talk with your girl. That's my girl, y'all. Okay, I believe T Talk has it in her video. You can hear Melody's voice in the background while Stormy is filming. And I just wonder, Stormy, did you do that on purpose, girl? 
just wonder. It just so happened that when you started videotaping yourself, that Mel was talking. Was Mel already talking and you decided to go ahead and videotape yourself? I just wonder. I'm not saying that that's the case. I just know you sneaky and you a snake. So that's what snakes do. They slither. Okay, they do these little sneaky snake-like things. You know, and act like don't nobody know what they're doing. And so, was she trying to give us the impression that maybe, you know, her and Mel might be good? I don't know. Do you think Mel is good with Stormy? Y'all tell me what y'all think. Now, these are just my thoughts and opinions, okay? Then, y'all, I know I said I was going to be coming on here more. I'm so sorry. Let me say that before I finish this commentary. I've had so much training to do. It has been damn near impossible for me to come on the way I want to come on. Because it's more important to me to get as many of us trained up to be YouTubers if you want to be, okay? So, again, I apologize. I'm trying my best to come on here as often as possible. But let's go on, okay? So, before I end this, let me say this, okay? My takeaway in all of this is that Melody is filming with these people because it is her job. And like a professional, okay, she is doing what she needs to do being employed by Discovery on whoever owns it, child. I don't even know who owns it now because every time you turn around, I know it ain't on no more, right? Discovery, okay? But anyway, she's doing what she needs to do. This is a business for her. We know she's very professional. She's doing what it is that she's getting paid to do. She's minding the business that pays her. This is my opinion. <clears throat> so when you hear the haters trying to lie and tell them, look, they friends again. Look, she ain't had no problem with them. It's a lie. Don't believe it. Okay. Don't believe what these haters say because all they do is make things up. Okay. Like wander, you know, she'll make up some mess in a minute. And I'm not saying she said anything about this particular situation, but we know it's been plenty of times she'll come and she'll try to debunk something that was said in reference to Melody. So he, these are my thoughts and opinions, and I'll be coming back with more thoughts and opinions, not just on this show and the cast here, but also when it comes to these other reality stars as well. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. Now, before I go, don't forget that I have an ebook. Okay, you can get one on one training with me. You can purchase the ebook or you can purchase just one on one tra training. And right now, like I said, I'm running a special. You can get the ebook with one on one with the one on one training. The cost of the ebook, I took some few dollars off. The cost of the ebook is normally the cost of a little, it's a little cheaper than what I would normally charge just for the ebook alone. Right now, I threw in a one on one session. And so it really is a deal. It's a very good deal if you ask me. And the deal ends the 31st of the month. Well, the last day will be the 31st. I think it's 31 days in this month. And then there won't the deal won't be on anymore. The special won't be on anymore. But I'll run it again maybe on another holiday. I'm not sure. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Just depends. However, since I'm running the special right now, I say come and purchase the training. Okay. I have had so many you know, great things being said. New content creators is coming out and I spotlight you as a content creator if you come and get the training and start your channel, right? So you can also purchase the ebook. You can do it on your own with just the ebook, okay? I have enough information on it where you can just become a content creator on your own. Anyway, family, before I get to going off on a tangent, because I'll be trying to not make these videos so long, and I will be putting up another video soon, I want to say thank you so much. Thank you to all the people who trusted me to come to me so that I can help them become content creators. Thank you to True T who has been promoting my ebook. Thank you to T Talk with your girl who has been promoting my ebook. Thank you all so much, okay, for just supporting me, for being there for me, for just watching my channel. The family, you all support me by watching. Now, before we go, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure all notifications are on, not just notifications because if you don't push all you won't get all of my notifications okay so make sure it says all notifications and don't forget to hit that like button okay and comment in the comments below because you know we like to have conversations down there in them comments so go on here put your comment down there and tell me what you think about what's going on i'll be coming back with another video soon oh it's like you don't even try i be busy love
me the way I want you Put your all into all that you do It's only right, it's what I deserve Love 